this is the seating template for college exams and here this seating can be used for halls with 10 into 6 that is 10 rows and 6 columns 8 into 6 and 13 rows and 5 columns and 10 rows and 4 columns so here I am going to show you how to use this sheet this is the home page and the admin corner you have to enter the two details before that is hall design and branch entry so here you can enter the number of halls the maximum halls is 15 and it can be also increased more than that you can contact as through the email id or the whatsapp number available in the description so in the hall number you can enter the hall numbers here and the number of columns and rows are printed here. So you can also uh, contact us contact to increase or uh, to decrease the column numbers and row numbers. So this is uh, nothing to do with it. Next you have 8 branches or 8 departments. To increase these department also you can contact us and you can enter your short form whatsoever you like. And you can enter the your branches here now I'm moving to the home page if you are okay with that you can go to the second one that is students name entry so this is the place where you are going to enter the name and the hall ticket number and totally we have as I mentioned before eight branches so there were eight branches and the name which you enter in the first in the hall design page that will appear here so this name will appear in the name list page so I am entering, you can uh, copy and paste the name and the hall ticket number directly from the source file. If you have the name in any other file you have, you can directly copy it and paste it here. You can paste up to uh, 51, so totally you can paste up to 49 something numbers. So if you want to increase that numbers, you can contact us. So now I'm moving to the home page. After doing this, now you can go to allocate the seating. Now start here and enter the college name. This will appear in the seating page, sitting page, and they enter the exam detail, whether what is the uh, heading or title of that exam. And here enter the day, month, and your year. And here the session that is afternoon or forenoon. Then this is the place where you can enter the subject name and subject code so if you want this thing to be displayed in your sheet you can enter here and you can uh, see, see those things displayed in your sitting page or attendance sheet page so the sitting arrangement of this is this that is column one with the branch one and column two with branch two so it is an alternate sitting fashion if you want any other additional fash, uh, different fashions like uh, i will show you now So these are the another fashions available here the sitting arm is arranged one by one after another this is one pattern this is another pattern alternate pattern in cells alternate cells so this is alternate columns like this so if you want anything like this you can add any num any design or any patterns you like you can contact us so now i'm after entering these details checking these details i'm moving to the next step so now everything is done you have entered your name in the nameless space so now i'm going to allocate students in 10 into 6 halls so here already it is entered 20 if i enter it as 15 so 15 students are located so totally this hall has 10 rows and 6 columns so that's why it feels like this first this next this next this like this so, and now i'm entering the other students also 20 so total already 35 you can allocate 60 students here so again allocating 20 from another department still five more so i'm entering this five and totally six are allocated so if you enter any extra students for example i'm entering more than that so it shows limit exceeded so when you see this warning you have to check whether the count is exceeding the total limit so it is 65 so i'm increasing somewhere the five students so i'm entering here 15 so now it is uh, fully occupied so if you want only the two departments we can also do that so here 30 
and 30 I'm entering only the two departments and deleting all others so now see all the two departments are alternately arranged the sixth department so that the sixth branch and the seventh branch alternately arranged so like this you can scroll down here you have the next hall first select the hall number to note 7 and you enter the students you like so this is how I do it so like this you can enter the uh, students and fill them totally you have six halls with this uh, 6 into 10 that is 10 into 6 10 rows into 6 columns now I'm moving to the home page after that I'm going to again to the seating plan now I'm have the next one that is 8 into 6 the same thing you can repeat it here you have only 8 call rows left here and 6 columns and you can enter the hall number here and next we have two more that is 13 into 5 so this is the 13 into 5 you can enter the details and you uh, you can fill all the students so here you can see remaining students are displayed here so if i enter the 31 students so it shows there is no remaining students so you can end this will up get updated automatically so you can enter as much as this turns green that means if it is not green then it shows that still you have you have students to allocate